Hey there friends, it's Lex and Riot. If you missed our last video, we broke our bed while visiting Sedona and rigged it back together good enough to hold for now. But before I can fix the bed properly, I need to get down this washboard road that I suspect is the culprit that bounced it up and down to the point of breaking and then get across the state to Lake Havasu where a friend is going to help me remake it and get it secure. Along the way, we're gonna take a one-nighter at a ghost town campsite right next to a cemetery. I almost forgot to film it. All right, it's still technically standing, but you can see how much it bounces around which is why the wood cracked and eventually broke. I don't know in what world I thought not securing it to the floor or to the wall would work permanently. I guess I always thought that <laughs> it would just be heavy enough to sit still. That's obviously not the case, but it looks like it will last another night. Coming down into the desert, in the fall means there might still be rattlesnakes out trying to get the last bit of sun before they go into hibernation. So in these areas, I always keep Riot on a leash. I'm really aware of letting her have any freedom to sniff bushes. We look around, we look for tracks. And I also did get her a rattlesnake vaccine. And it's important to note that it only buys you time. It doesn't necessarily save the dog's life. So you still do have to rush them to the vet anyway. It appears the bed made it through another night. You ready? You ready? Are you ready? You all go for a cow soup? We made it to Lake Havasu City and I just had to slam on my brakes for one of the many stoplights. I don't even want to know what happened to the bed back there right now. But I'm on my way to Home Depot. I stopped uh, and had my friend help me measure the pieces of wood that we need to get. And then we're getting out of Lake Havasu City because it's just too busy. So today we're going to remake the bed and an effort to not try and come across as a DIY channel and I hope that I have been nothing but clear that I'm just a soul whose intentions are good. Oh Lord, please don't let me be misunderstood. I'm just showing you what I'm doing in hopes to give you confidence that you can do your best and that's good enough for what it is a lot of the time. I hope you guys enjoy the little bit of getting this redone. You know this crowbar is what I found in Tonopah when I went on that hike? Oh, yeah. <laughs> There's holes in the platform which helps to prevent mold or mildew 
It's also green treated plywood. Oh, I got one nail in here, one token nail. I don't know why. Oh, okay. It's not really a stress issue. Well, my dad, you know, was a steel guy, but he warned me when we were doing all this. He goes, I'm not a woods guy. I don't even know what kind of wood you should have. You know, he's like, we could build it out of aluminum. And I was like, no, I don't want to. good because yeah. you need a little bit of, remember I told you they like the Japanese for their buildings got on springs because you have to have a little bit of movement to counteract the shaking of the trailer if you had that thing so wedged in there it would crack the trailer again, rebounds, right? it would crack the wood and yeah. find a weak spot to it crack would find it. a weak spot so yeah it's good to have a little bounce to the ounce really strange but I didn't want to lay all the way down on the new bed and the clean sheets until I took a shower but now I've taken a shower so I'm going to try to lay down on my newly built bed it already feels sturdier I mean it's not going anywhere if I try to shake it oh <gasps> she me come here okay. do you like it do like it. Hopefully there's some inspiration and tenacity. And I like to use the word tenacity instead of stubbornness. But I hope that uh, that is the takeaway to anyone that need it, needs it. And you know, I'm happy to be a catalyst for people to be able to output their pent up criticisms as that also seems to be a helpful vice uh, in the comment section. So if you have a need to critique others, I'm your girl, cause I can take it <laughs> and I'm gonna do what I want anyway, kinda, um, with appreciation. I mean, I always appreciate the, the constructive criticism, but there's certainly an influx of people that might just want to uh, be heard. And I think that's fine too. But moreover, my hope and aspiration is to show people that it doesn't have to all be done right away it doesn't have to be done perfectly if it breaks you can fix it where there is a will there is always a way and make it yours no matter what so <laughs> i hope someone got something out of this video if you did especially if you're wagering bets on how long the bed lasts you might want to subscribe Make sure that you place your, your wager in the comments below. If one of you wants to arrange to be the bookie, have at it. I don't want any part in that. And we'll see you next time.
Thank you so much for watching.